Greetings to all fans of good movies. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a French comedy drama movie called Nico Stratos the Pelican. <laughs> the movie is set on the Greek island of Zorro in a small mountain village. The main character is a local boy, Yanis. On behalf of his father, he goes to the port on the mainland. Our protagonist delivers homemade alcohol to a captain, whose ship arrived from Cuba. Climbing aboard, the boy has to wait a bit. In the captain's cabin, he notices a strange little chick, which is suffering from the heat. The boy offers to give him the barely alive little chick, but the captain asks for all the money earned from selling the alcohol in return. Yanis refuses because his father will kill him if he does not bring home the money. Then the captain proposes exchanging the young man's gold cross. It is difficult for boy to part with it because it once belonged to his deceased mother. The main character returns home with the chick, but without the family heirloom. On the way, he consoles himself with the thought that he saved the life of a living creature, and he believes his mother would approve of his actions. However, his father is a strict and unfeeling man who would definitely disapprove of such an exchange. Demosthenes has just returned from a morning fishing trip. The boy hides the rescued animal in the barn and hurries to help his father with the catch. The man asks his son to repair the fishing nets, and without noticing anything, he himself goes to the center to sell the catch. Left alone at home, the boy starts to wonder about the bird in front of him. He observes the duck's legs, swan's beak, and long neck, but can't identify its species. Additionally, the chick refuses to eat the homemade food prepared for it. Later, Yanis replaces his missing gold cross with a wooden one, so that his father won't notice its absence. He spends the entire day with his new friend, and in the evening, he takes the bird to his bed. The next morning, the boy catches small fish for his pet and names him Nikostratos, after a famous ship. Later, Yanis goes to the church to meet Father Kuzmas, who is interested in zoology and has no trouble identifying the species of the marvelous bird. The priest tells the boy about pelicans, explaining that they can grow to a huge size. The following day, Yanis goes to the market in the harbor where he sells homemade cheese. Demosthenes, who supplies fresh fish to the local cafe, is also nearby. In front of everyone, the strict father reprimands his son for his unkempt appearance. However, the people present come to the boy's defense, understanding the challenges he faces living with such a critical father. After the death of his wife, Demosthenes became withdrawn and underwent significant changes. Living with him is not easy for the boy, but fortunately, he now has a new friend. Yanis decides to house the pelican in the annex and even breaks through the wall in his room to allow it free movement. The pelican grows rapidly and requires a lot of fish, making it increasingly difficult to hide. With the arrival of the pelican, the boy's life undergoes a dramatic transformation as he begins to spend all this free time with his newfound friend. One day, the father notices his son playing with a large bird and during their conversation, he learns about the exchange with the captain that resulted in the boy losing his gold cross. This news infuriates Demosthenes. He enters the annex and tries to grab the pelican, but the bird manages to escape. Unfortunately, Nikos hasn't yet learned to fly, so he has to flee from his pursuer. In the evening, the father threatens to kill the pelican when they cross paths. <laughs> Upon meeting his friend, the boy decides to move the pelican to a deserted location where they can continue to see each other without their father's interference. At night, he takes the pelican to a cave that can only be reached by swimming through the water. One day, Yanis visits his friend and brings fresh fish, but Nikos doesn't respond to his call. After a moment, the pelican flies over the boy's head with a screech, circling the area to show off its newfound flying skill. From that moment on, the main character feels a mix of happiness and sadness. He realizes that now his friend will no longer be able to go unnoticed. Soon, the entire village is talking about the sudden appearance of a huge bird on their island. Later, one evening, a young girl named Angelica arrives in the village. It's the beginning of her vacation, and she has decided to work at her uncle's cafe. Yanis once again brings cheese to the market, with the pelican following him. The bird sits on the counter, attracting a lot of attention. 
People recognize that the big bird belongs to the boy and are amazed at how well the Ionis handles his friend. Nikos behaves like a tame bird. Angelica watches from the sidelines and meets a shy boy, asking him to go for a walk with her. C'est un cadeau du ciel, ce pélican. Dégage-toi. <laughs> Later, Demosthenes is fishing near the cave where the pelican lives. He notices the bird and starts chasing it. Using a fishing net, he manages to capture the animal. After swimming away from the area, he takes a knife in his hands, but at the last moment, he changes his mind and releases Nikos unharmed. In an instant, the boy becomes a local celebrity. A large number of tourists begin to arrive on the island of Zorro, eager to have their photos taken with the bird. This brings in a good income for the owner of the cafe on the island. The man suggests that Ianis bring Nikos to him in the evenings, promising that tourists will gladly pay for a photo opportunity. Our character hesitates because he doesn't want to exploit his friend for financial gain. However, at home, his father informs him that he will soon leave for a temporary job and will be away for a while. He is currently facing financial difficulties due to the lack of a good catch. Later, after consulting with his friend, Yanis reluctantly agrees to entertain the visitors. So the island of Zorro became known as the Pelican Island, and tourists from all over flock here in droves. This pleased Aristotle, the owner of the only cafe on the island. Visitors to the cafe could easily take photos with the pelican, and Nikos was happy to pose for them, bringing in a good income for our character. Once, after another successful day, Angelica invites Yanis to go shopping with her. While sailing on the ferry, Yanis tells the girl how they acquired the pelican and points out the ship where the unpleasant captain, to whom he gave his cross, is located. The two of them have fun throughout the day and go to a club in the evening. Angelica introduces Boy to her friends and leaves to dance. Left alone, Yanis quickly becomes drunk and eventually falls asleep. The girl wakes up our character in the morning on the ferry on their way back home. She also returns the gold cross to Yanis and confesses that she bought it from the captain while he was asleep. Tu peux plus rien me refuser maintenant. Emmène-moi à Myrta. In return, Angelica asks Yanis to show her the place where the pelican lives. In the afternoon, they arrive at Nico's dwelling. Young people spend the entire day in that spot. Yanis catching seafood delicacies to treat his friends. Later, Boy admits that it was the best day of his life. In the evening, while sitting in a cafe, the two friends argue over a minor issue related to the bird. Yanis then returns home, where his disgruntled father awaits him. The father discovers his son's new source of income and scolds him for it. Yanis defends himself, stating that simple photographs bring in more money than his father's fishing. And thanks to this, he was able to retrieve his mother's cross. For the first time, Demosthenes beats his son, because of which the boy decides to spend the night in his friend's cave. Early in the morning, while Yanis is still asleep, the pelican flies into the cafe. Angelica, still in a bad mood due to their quarrel, refuses to play with the bird. Nikos is left to wander the streets alone. Meanwhile, a new group of tourists arrives in the village by bus. The driver gets distracted by the guide and fails to notice the bird flying by. The tourists gather around the injured pelican. Soon, Yanis appears and takes Nikos home, pleading with his father to help him save his only friend. Demosthenes sees the severity of the pelican's injuries and declares that it won't survive. Je te promets, Overwhelmed with despair, the boy collapses to the sand in tears while his father sails away with the dying pelican on a boat. Throughout the night, the boy becomes delirious and his fever rises. In his sleep, he calls out for his mother. Demosthenes remains by his stunned side, comforting him until he calms down. Looking at a photo of his deceased wife, the man shows vulnerability for the first time and cannot hold back his tears. Sadness engulfs the island and the pelican cave remains deserted. The entire village becomes concerned about Yanis' condition. Angelica visits him daily and shares updates with the others. Gradually, the young man started to regain his composure. He and Angelica quickly reconciled and continued to spend time together. Travel agencies ceased bringing in tourists, and life on the island returned to its normal rhythm. One day, while walking through the village, Yanis stops by a cafe. From the owner, the boy learns that his father has not been seen at the cafe for a long time 
even though he used to drink here every evening. Upon hearing this, our character rushes home and asks his father about the supposed death of Nikos. The story told by the Demosthenes doesn't seem convincing to Boy, so he decides to investigate where his father has been disappearing to for so long. Following his father's boat, Yanis finds himself in a familiar cave, climbing up a rock. He sees his father caring for the pelican. The man had kept the truth from him, uncertain if he could heal the bird. He had also been waiting for Nikos to fully recover before giving his son a pleasant surprise. Overwhelmed with joy, the boy approaches his father and hugs him tightly, expressing his gratitude. Later, the entire island celebrates the Day of Street Demetrius. In the midst of the festivities, Yanis presents the people with his pelican alive and well. I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who stayed until the end. Your support, likes, and comments greatly contribute to the growth of this channel.